when pullet and flux meet great things happen let me show you one example of that greatness let's go to this hugging face space let's scroll down a little and then let's select this example and then this is what it has selected this image let me scroll down a little click on generate and then let's wait for the result to be created and there you go you see the result this is using the power of flux model and the pulid method which is an amalgamation of a lot of things and that is the topic of this video so we are going to install this pulid flux on our local system and then we will try to generate the similar quality images but before that First, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now, coming back to this Pulid Flux, let's first discuss what exactly is Pulid and what is Flux. Pulid stands for pure and lightning id customization it's a new tuning free id customization method for text to image generation by incorporating a lightning t2i branch with a standard diffusion one pulit introduces both contrastive alignment loss and accurate id loss which really produces high id fidelity when it comes to flux Flux is one of the leading text image generation model in 12 billion parameter and it uses rectified flow transformer capable of generating images from text description. I have covered Flux models in very great detail as you can see on the channel. So if you're interested to install the Flux one dev Chanel and pro on your local system with comfy UI and even Flux music or fine tuning please cite the channel you should be able to find that one i also have covered pulit previously so if you're interested in pure pulit just search with the pulit and you should be able to find multiple videos on that topic but for the purpose of this let's go to my local terminal and get this thing installed and see how it works i will be using ubuntu 22.04 as you can see and i will be using uh, gpu card h100 courtesy mast compute and it has 80 gb of vram now the thing with this pulid is that you could get away with just 24 or even 16 gb of vram but you would need to use a quantized version and the quality is not that good but you can do so by using the same command which i am using okay so enough talk let me clear the screen here first up let's git clone the repo of pulit and i will drop the link to it in video description that is done and you can see that now we are in our pulit directory next up i would highly recommend that you create a virtual environment with conda and you can see that i am creating it with python 3.10 so let's wait for it shouldn't take too long and that is already done now let me show you one more thing we now need to install the requirements.txt from the root of this pulid uh, repo. So you see, I'm just using pip install dash r requirement.txt. If you have a consumer grade GPU with 16 GB of VRAM or 24 GB of VRAM, instead of installing requirements.txt, go with FP8, which is floating point eight, a quantized version. So this is all you need to do and press enter. But I have 80 GB of VRAM, which should be enough for this model so i'm just going to install it with requirement.txt let's wait for it to get um, installed everything this is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen next up we need to download the models so the pulit flux model will be downloaded automatically but we need to download two models from flux 1.dev and for that, if you do ls-ltr in this pulit directory, there is a directory of models. So just cd into it. And if you do ls, there is nothing. This is where we need to download the models. And how do you get the models? 
just go to hugging face into this flux.1 dev click on files you can log in if you like and then from here you just need to download these two files ae.safe tensors and flux1-dev.safe tensors and this one is a huge file like 24 gig or so so make sure that you have plenty of space in your uh, system and you saw that i am log not logged in so that is why i got that error but i already am logged in to my another terminal so i should be good so all you need to do is just log in and grab the url so for that just go here and then use wget and the whole url to that file which you can just right click and copy link so let me download it here okay you see i'm not logged into this terminal so it is saying 401 unauthorized now for this first you need to make sure make sure that you have hugging face underscore hub installed let's check so i already have it next up i need to log into hugging face and in order to log in you would need to use this command hugging face dash cli login and this is asking you for a token so you can go to hugging face dot co sign up or sign in from your profile and settings grab the free token a read token paste it here then capital y and you will see that my login is now successful so let me clear the screen here let's press the arrow and then now try to download it is still giving me this one so it means that i just need to log in from this system so let me log in from here okay that is funny so after logging in now it is downloading it at last and we would just need to wait for a bit eta is around two minutes or so so let's wait for it to download it's a big file as you know and that model is downloaded if i do ls here you will see that now the name also contains this uh, flux something like download is equal to true we don't need that all we need is flux one dash dev dot save tensors so i'm just renaming it like this now this should look okay there you go so we now have it in proper way let's download the other file which is a ae dot save tensors and the second file is also downloaded let me also change its name let's rename it to ae dot save tensors and that is done now if we do the ls dash ltr we should have two model files that is all cool so now this wraps up all the installation prerequisites and the models and now in order to start this all you need to do is to run this command sorry not from here we just need to go back one directory clear it and then from here we need to run this command python3 app underscore flux dot pi and that is going to start a gradio demo just like the one which i sh showed you earlier so let me launch it and first time when you run it it is going to also download that pulid flux model so you see it is first time it is downloading that model so let's wait for it to get finished and also it is telling me that i don't have these x former and apex so i might have to install it before i uh, launch it again let's wait for it and after this we can open it in our browser so let's wait and there you go it is now running on port 8080 on our local host so let me open it there and there you go our pullet for flux is running on our local host let me adjust the screen so that we'd be able to see it in a better way so now for example if i go here scroll down you can upload your own image or you could just simply uh, click on any of the example so maybe i'll just go with the same one i'm just going to click on it and then click and we are saying it a woman holding sign with glowing green text build it for flux click on generate let's go up to see what is happening and these are the parameters which you can set if you like but i'm not going to go with it at the moment and this is where it is processing it so let's wait for it to get finished and there you go the same quality the same image how good is that it looks so vibrant so vivid 
you can simply click on X to try out any other image. So for example, I have just uh, given it my own image and then I'm asking it a, a man holding sign with glowing green text bullet for flux. How about if I change it to please subscribe to channel. Okay, let's run it. So it is running. Let's wait for it to come back. And there you go. So please subscribe to the channel if you have liked the content and I will let you be the judge, but it is quite good. I must must say. So that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this Pulit Flux. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.